Good afternoon, Vox. I'm Jacob. And I'm McKenna, and you're watching SVTV. Now for your daily announcements. Hotspot returns. If your family was issued a hotspot, please make sure to return it during laptop check-in. If the hotspot is not returned, a fee of $85 will be assessed. Summer job training. Topeka Way to Work is offering summer professional development training for students who will be sophomores, juniors, or seniors during the 2021-2022 school year. Please see the flyers or Ms. Sawyer for details. Applications are due May 28th. Viking Brew Crew. If you're interested in joining the Viking Brew Coffee Shop, see Mrs. Dowling in room W9 for applications. If you signed up for the Europe trip, please plan to attend the first group meeting on May 20th at 6 p.m. in the Freshman Commons. Summer Lunch Program. Summer meals will be available for pickup from Logan Elementary beginning in the second week of June. Visit the district website to sign up for a remote meal. Now, over to sports after this quick commercial break. Why is your mask down? Why not? We're in a global pandemic. You should seriously be wearing your mask. Well, okay. Don't be like Olivia. Wear your mask right. During the mornings before school starts, a group of students come together to form the Viking Brew. As a team, they make hot and cold coffees and now smoothies for other students. championships were last night. The boys team finished sixth place overall. Four points from fifth place. Good job, Vikes. Girls track results. The girls were Centennial League champions in four events. Taylor Stahlbomber won the 100 and 300 meter hurdles, Bethany Drews won the 800 meter run, and Megan Alaker won the 3,200 meter run. Great job, ladies. Summer Swim League Noto Rays. Swim League is accepting new members to compete in the Caw Valley League from May 27th to July 17th. For further information, contact Noto Rays. Now, on to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. Today is going to be one of our last days without rain all day long, so make sure to go outside and enjoy it some. We have been experiencing significantly less storms the past years, with our tornado averages normally being about 90 cases per year, and last year it was only 30. Today is going to be very cool with our temperatures being in the 60s, and it being mostly cloudy most of today. As we get into tonight, the rain will start to move into the area. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, today is going to be one of our last good days before we start to have rain chances or thunderstorm chances every single day for the next week. Our temperatures are going to leave the 60s also and start warming back up into the 70s, even possibly reaching the 80s at some point. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all we have for you today, Vikes. Have a fantastic Friday.